What do we know about Karl Lagerfeld's luxurious home in the French Riviera? Like a sentinel on the lookout for enemy fleets at sea, from which it takes its name, Villa La Vigie rises above the Mediterranean Sea. Although it is one of the most discreet historical buildings on the French Riviera, it is steeped in history and unique Mediterranean flora. One of the most legendary owners of this villa was Karl Lagerfeld. He is one of the most awarded designers in fashion, heading Chanel from 1983 to 2019. Every year, he created more than a dozen collections for three visually different houses, Chanel, Fendi, and the label of the same name. He was the only designer to show two haute couture collections in Paris every season. Lagerfeld's aesthetic is heavily influenced by the Renaissance, steeped in cultural and historical references. Let's discuss what secrets the genius's favorite residence hides. A brief excursion into the history of Villa La Vigie. In French, La Vigie means the watchman, an ideal name for a building overlooking the sea. Villa La Vigie is located a few hundred meters from the French Monaco border in Roquebrun Cap Martin, with high alabaster ceilings and beautiful Corinthian columns. La Vigie was built in 1902 for first baronet Sir William Ingram of the Illustrated London News. It is rumored that many rare animals and exotic birds lived freely on the Ingram property during that period. Then came World War II and the German occupation. In the early 40s, the La Vigie estate became an observation post for German soldiers. They turned the manicured gardens into trenches, surrounding them with barbed wire and minefields. Since 1952, the Société des Bains de Mer de Monaco, SBM, has become its owner. In 1986, Karl Lagerfeld was having lunch at the Monte Carlo Country Club when he saw Villa La Vigie and inquired about its owner. The designer had close ties to the princely family. Princess Caroline was one of his flies. And when it was learned that Lagerfeld liked the house, Rainier III said that if he restored it, he could remain a tenant of the property for the rest of his life. True to his word, the designer spent approximately 12.7 million euros to restore the building and fill it with unique art pieces, exclusive furniture, luxurious fabrics, and an incredible atmosphere. Interior of Villa La Vigie. The house, with an area of about 600 square meters and six bedrooms, is decorated in a neoclassical style. The monumental entrance hall with its luxurious staircase, inspired by that of the Chateau de Saint-Cloud, which leads to the upper floors, immediately sets the tone of the Villa La Vigie. The hall leads directly into the central living room, from which there is a passage to the dining room and even larger living room, and then opens onto a fantastic terrace. Lagerfeld called these living rooms bourgeois. There is also a library, billiard room on the ground floor, an office, and a modern kitchen equipped with the latest generation equipment. This part of the house was used as a dance floor and photo studio. Lagerfeld himself lived on the villa's top floor with a Marie Antoinette canopy bed, an extensive library, and two bathrooms. One with views of the Mediterranean in the morning and the other with views of the lights of Monte Carlo at night. One could find works by the famous 17th century artist Elizabeth Vigier Lebrun in his rooms. The luxurious furnishings in the house include three tables designed by David Röntgen, one of which once belonged to Queen Louise of Prussia, and furniture by André Dubreuil. On the second floor are several guest rooms and a separate apartment for Lagerfeld's companion, Jacques de Bachet. Lagerfeld designed a room in red silk damask and called it the Rothschild Salon. 
moldings, marble, Versailles, oak parquet, and Murano crystal chandeliers, each material is designed to preserve the authenticity of the interior. Lagerfeld was confident that the villa was superior in beauty to the princely palace of Monaco in Monaco-Ville, since the royal family's private chambers were too small, and Rainier III was not concerned with the interior design. The artistic director of Channel used this location to showcase his collection of classic art pieces so beloved by this Baroque and unique fashion designer. In 2021, the villa was in the spotlight with the brand that made it famous, Chanel. The Chanel Spring-Summer 2021 advertising campaign was filmed entirely in Monaco and at Villa La Vigie because photography is Lagerfeld's second passion after fashion. The advertising campaign featured a philosophy graduate, accomplished equestrian, model, and favorite of Monaco, Charlotte Casiraghi. The environment around Villa La Vigie from the ground floor, you can access a luxurious panoramic terrace overlooking the sea and forest park with an area of 237 square meters offering unsurpassed sea views. There is an authentic private spa here. The terrace adjoins a garden with an outdoor jacuzzi from which you can admire the night sky dotted with stars. The garden at La Vigie under the constant supervision of Lagerfeld, was designed by his partner Jacques de Bacher. In this standard, Mediterranean park, cypress, olive, palm, and exotic plants sprout, creating a cozy natural cocoon. Walking through the alleys and groves of the villa, inhaling the scent of flowers, and listening to birdsong became a source of inspiration for the great fashion designer. In 1986, in an interview with W Magazine, Lagerfeld called Villa La Vigie the safest place in the world since it is impossible to get close to it. No public roads pass by, you must go through two gates to get inside. The fashion designer joked that the house doesn't even have an address, so no one can send him a letter here. The exclusive Monte Carlo Beach Club has a private beach and Olympic swimming pool not far from Villa La Vigie. Just a five-minute walk away is the center of Monaco, where the fashion designer could experience the great art of living, dining at popular restaurants, experiencing the glamorous nightlife, and visiting luxury shops. Interestingly, the color of Lagerfeld's favorite Bentley convertible matched the color of the villa. What happened after the death of the legendary designer? Following Lagerfeld's death in 2019, Sotheby's France was asked to sell items from Lagerfeld's various residences, including La Vigie. About 1,000 participants registered for the auction, which took place at the end of 2021. During the auction, almost 600 lots were sold including drawings by the fashion designer, personal items, decorative items, and works of art by Murakami and Jeff Koons. Total revenue exceeded 12 million euros, although the organizers plan to receive 3 million euros. Today, SBM uses the villa to host various private events. After taking a look at Karl Lagerfeld's house, what are your thoughts? Is his home as spectacular as you thought it would be? Would you like to visit this house? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and catch you in the upcoming video.